can you give us um, sort of an overview, if possible, of where you think Ukraine is currently standing in its attempt of defence? Well, where we are at the present moment is <clears throat> Ukraine is now benefiting considerably from the Western supply of arms and ammunition and critically training. A large number of Ukrainian troops are being trained in this country, in the United Kingdom at the present moment. And we've seen the success of the long range rocket systems. Um, you're showing pictures of just those systems now. And what this has meant is that the Ukrainians' military capability uh, has increased considerably. They're able to contain Russian advances in the Donbass area, in Donetsk and Luhansk provinces. And I think it's fair to say that there's something of an operational pause going on at the present moment. The Ukrainians are consolidating their additional strength. They're preparing for a significant counteroffensive, which will be a slow burn counteroffensive in the Kherson area uh, in the south of the country. And concerned about that, the Russians have been moving a number of troops from elsewhere in Donbass to counter that Russian counteroffensive, that Ukrainian counteroffensive. So these moves are preliminary at the present moment. They will come to a much more explosive head at some point in the not too distant future. So I suppose it's not surprising that um, as a lack of major action at the present moment, the story of Ukraine has slipped down the news agenda. But believe me, it will go back up there again. And uh, <clears throat> what's increasingly important, uh, and of course I should say that the uh, issues around the nuclear plant at Zaporizhia are extremely worrying and are extremely important. But over time, uh, there will have to be a return to negotiation between Ukraine and Russia, mediated by a third party, because I think the reality, which everyone's going to have to come to accept, is that Russia will not win as far as Ukraine is concerned. Russia will not be able to capture the whole of Ukraine, but Ukraine will probably never be strong enough to throw the Russians completely out of Donbass uh, and the Crimea. <clears throat> so the new normal in Ukraine is probably going to be that some 15 to 20 percent of their country is permanently occupied by the Russians. And that's going to have to be the basis of negotiations in the future. So this story, which has been very violent over the last six months, has got more violence to come, I'm afraid. But actually, it's going to be a long story. And ultimately, it'll end in negotiations, which will satisfy no party. But at the end of the day, some form of peace has got to be restored to Ukraine so that the majority of that country can be rebuilt and Ukraine can have a meaningful, purposeful future.